Hi there, Dolly friends. Did you know that it was the Germans who first began bringing trees inside for decorating? But it was Queen Victoria, pictured here with Prince Albert and their children in 1848, that made the Christmas tree popular. With that in mind, I want to remind you that this is a collaboration video. Me and five of my YouTube friends, and your YouTube friends, are making Christmas trees today. Who's participating? Deb from Doll's House Dilemmas, Lisa from Little Worlds of Wonder, Lisa from Miniature Things by Lisa, Montarsi's Miniatures, and Lorraine from Serenata. During the second half of the 19th century, it was also the Germans who began making artificial trees out of feathers. Though a movement was developing to conserve the dense forests, feathers, a byproduct of the poultry farmers, were plentiful. They began dyeing the feathers and wrapping them around wires to create the look of the evergreens. Green and white were popular colors and the feathers fanned out and mimicked the branches of the trees. When Germans came to the United States to live and work, they brought the feather tree tradition with them. And by the early decades of the 20th century, department stores like Sears began selling the trees. They ranged anywhere from three inches to three feet and later up to eight feet. You've been looking at photos of real trees, but this is an actual authentic feather tree. I just love this photo of the girl with her dollies, even though it's blurry. I just think it's so sweet. Antique feather trees sell for quite a lot of money. This one sold for $117. I am just not too sure about this one. It seems to have sold for nearly $800, but looking at it, I don't think it can be more than like three feet. Looks pretty tiny. And here's another one. This one was 30 inches and sold for $300. I really like this one. I can't remember the story. I think this one might have come from a department store. Um, yeah, but I like the base that it was in. So, of course, the Twizzlemans had a tradition of a feather tree. I wanted to try to make one, and I bought a kit online at feathertreekits.com. I will put a link to their website in my description box. I bought a kit to make an 18 inch tree and they send all the supplies that you need. But I also bought extra supplies to make the Twizzleman tree. This is um, what they sent in the kit. I mean, they even put glue and everything. Um, so what I'm using, I, I bought the bright green feathers for the Twizzleman tree and I'm just using a dowel that I bought at a craft store. This is the larger dowel, and here's the one I'm using. I'm going to make about a four inch tree that will stand a little taller with the base that I'm making for it. So it'll be a total of about six feet, maybe a little bit bigger, but because the parlor is quite large and has high ceilings, it will, I think, look to scale. So these are some 20 gauge wires and then some thin wires that I'm using um, to wrap the trees afterwards. So I'm just painting my dowel and I've pre-drilled just with a hand drill um, the holes where I'm going to put the branches. It was a tradition in Germany to make the trees with the red berries on them. The kit comes with the instructions. So I'm going to use the berries that came in my kit and I have some larger ones that I'll use when I make the 18 inch tree, but these will be fine for Hans and Millie's tree. So I'm just attaching the berry to the wire with some floral tape and I'm trimming off the, the firm end of the feather and I'm securing it with another little bit of floral tape and then I'm bending it backwards and trying to straighten the spine a little bit and wrapping it around the wire. I want you to keep in mind that this looks a lot easier than it actually is. 
I struggled a lot with this project. So when you get to the end, you're supposed to attach, you know, the leftover piece to the wire using floral tape, or you can also use wire, and then you add more as you need to. Really for the small tree, you don't need to. Now you can see I'm wrapping this one in a counterclockwise direction. I'm sure that is entirely unorthodox. I don't, I was just trying to get it wrapped around. So it was really actually very, very hard. I ended up attaching the bottom, the second feather with the wire. It just was more secure. I tried using glue, I tried the floral tape, and then I, I'm using some brown floral tape to wrap over the wire so that it looks like a branch. I really, really struggled with this project. Um, it looks like I'm just pounding them out in this video and went bim bam boom, but that is not how it went. It took me, it took me like five days of working on it to get the branches wrapped. Um, it was hard. There are a couple of videos online of people making these. They're kind of low resolution videos because they're pretty old and these are like artisans that have been making them for years and they just twirl the feathers around the wire and make it look so easy um yeah and then i'm gluing them in even this part was not easy i think making the larger tree will actually be easier so you can see the bottom branches are quite large i did end up replacing a couple of them that one that's really large sticking out, it's kind of bent there. I wanted to make a base that was similar to ones I had seen online. It was kind of uneven after I glued it together, so I just sanded the pieces and used a stain marker to put a base stain, just so when I paint it, it will still, it will look like it was originally darker wood underneath. I'm going for something like this. That one appears to be stenciled, um, so I was trying to figure out how to do that. I'm, I, I don't have, I, I have a creative bug, but not too many artistic skills. So, um, you know, but I'm, I'm going for it. The look is a mass produced stencil, not an artistic rendition. So I think I should be able to pull it off. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out which materials are going to work for me. And I, I had the hardest time figuring out how to do the little pine things. And then I just used my little microfiber brush to just kind of make some little semblances of pine cones. And I added the little berries. And I actually mixed some of the red with, with the brown paint because I noticed on the stencil that it kind of looked like that. So here's some more of my little, <laughs> we'll call these uh, dots poinsettias. <laughs> um, yeah and on the bottom there where I got some of the stencil I ended up uh, sanding and painting that again just to kind of cover that up a little bit and it worked out fine Here's kind of how it turned out and I decided it needed something along the upper edge so I just sponged a little green there but I'm actually really pleased with the way it turned out it it looks similar to the ones that I've seen online I mean they're kind of crude in in appearance you know they're not super detailed or fancy or anything like that so luckily for me uh, that matches my skills. <laughs> so I'm, ha I'm really happy with the way that my base turned out. I decided that I was going to just use my plaster to put into the pot and then add the tree. Uh, I'm not so sure this was a great idea. It ended up splitting the pot a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I'm actually going to be using a tree skirt over it. Uh, made by my friend Lisa. Yes, from Miniature Things by Lisa.
You'll be able to see the splitting already, but it doesn't matter because it just really makes it look older. I'll just wait for it to dry and then hand it off to Hans and Millie for the decorating. Looks like Millie wanted Hans to put it up on the table to make it even higher. I kind of do like the way that looks. Good idea, Millie. And there's all the ornaments I brought down from the attic for them and the candles and they are getting ready. Oh, oh no. Oh no, something happened to Hans. Millie's asked me to take care of the tree while she gets Hans to the infirmary. So I brought it up to the attic because it will be easier for me to show you. And I got all the decorations on with their little hooks. It was no easy task. And I've got the candles on and I added a, just a tiny little sprinkling of some vintage tinsel. You can have a nice close look and I'll go check on Hans and Millie down in the infirmary and bring the tree into the parlor. Hans, look at the size of your feet. They're disproportionately small. You shouldn't have been standing on a chair. Of course you're going to fall. Well, he's only had a dislocated shoulder and it was easily popped back into place. So he'll be up and around in no time at all. But in the meantime, I went ahead and put the tree back up on the table with the tree skirt and a few other decorations on the fireplace and the kitties are playing and everything's ready for Hans and Millie to come back up and enjoy the tree. Please visit the other channel so you can see their fabulous Christmas trees. I will link everyone's channel in the description box below and I will eventually create a playlist once all the videos get posted to make it easier. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know about your holiday traditions and come back and visit me next time in the doll cupboard.